This is Mariana Crompton coming to you from Word of Faith. And I trust that you are blessed and that God's doing big things for you. But I'm going to speak to you on a funny subject this morning in our meditation, the subject of temptation. Um, it's been, uh, it's, it's a fact that people of all ages are falling into all kinds of things that in the past would not have, would have been thought unthinkable. And maybe it's you this morning, and maybe God needs to deal with something in your heart. And Proverbs 14, 16 says this, a wise person is cautious and turns away from evil, but a fool is arrogant and careless. You know, one thing life has taught me, um, if you don't want to get stung, stay away from the bees. If you don't want to fall over the cliff, don't walk on the edge. If you don't want to get burned, don't play with fire. It's common sense. But I watch people do those things all the time. You know, it's not our goal in life. It must never be, how close can I get before I fall? but how far can I stay so that I don't fall? And so um, I want you to take a frank assessment today. What are the things that you're feeling today? I need to deal with these things. You know, I can play, you can play with anger. You can play with unforgiveness and say, well, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I'm not going to really go down that road. But the Bible says this, give no room for the enemy. And so I want to challenge you today. What are you giving the enemy room in, in your life that he can get a foothold and that he can take over? Maybe it's time to look at that relationship and say, I will forgive. Maybe it, and, and because I'm not going down the road of unforgiveness. Maybe it's your, today the decision you need to make to turn off your TV, your computer, your cell phone. That's become a huge problem uh, with, the, with things, regardless of ages. And maybe it's time for you to, um, to, to be like a Joseph when Potiphar's wife, <laughs> Um, tempted him. You know what he did? He, he ran. He left his jacket behind and he ran. I remember a pastor years ago, a well-known pastor, and he, he was telling us how a, a woman uh, walked into his room, into his office and started to strip beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. You know what that man did? He got up from behind his desk and he ran, he ran, he ran across that whole church. He ran out into the car park because he ran away from evil. But I want to say in everything of your life today, it's a funny thing to speak about, but maybe it's time to run from evil and run to God and, and sort out things in your life that aren't right. So this morning I pray, Lord, for grace, for grace for each person to decide, I will run from evil and I will run to God because I want His best in my life, not anything else. Thank you, Lord. Amen.